Hello, dear friends. This is Yule Humphreys. Thank you for tuning in on me again. I want to share with you just a word on the pleasure of pleasing God. There is a pleasure in pleasing God. So important that as Christians we need to learn to endeavor to please God. And whatever we do, wherever we go, let it be in our mind and heart to please God. And that's important. Now we're going to read a few scriptures in this little 10 minute message that I want to speak to you. And it's important for us to know over in 1 Thessalonians in the second chapter, verse 4, Paul said, For it was given of us by God who entrusted to us the gospel that we should preach, not to please men, but to please God who searches the heart. And so here Paul is saying, I'm a preacher of the word of God, but my main purpose is to please God with my preaching. Not to please men, but to please God. Now there's a temptation among preachers, as I happen to be one of them, to endeavor to please men sometimes instead of talking about God. But we need to keep our thoughts on this. Does this please God? And the way to please God, one way is to preach the word the Word of God. And so that's important that we learn to do this. And it's so important. Over in the book of, uh, of uh, John, in the 8th chapter, G Jesus said, And I am never alone, for the Father is with me, because I do always those things that please Him. So Jesus said the Father. He and the Father were one, and yet, when he was on earth, he was the Son, and the Father was in heaven. And so he said, whatever I do, I do all in the name of the Father. The Father's with me. I'm never alone because I do always those things that please him. And if you do always those things that please God, my dear brother and sister, then you will never be alone. The Lord will be with you always. He's with you right now, and he'll never leave you. He's with you now, whatever you're facing. And he's saying, don't be afraid, trust me. You're not alone in this matter, I'm standing with you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? So look up and keep going over in the book of Proverbs in the 16th chapter, verse 7. It says, when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to praise him. That's an interesting statement. He, when a man's ways please God, he'll make even his enemies to praise him. And so that's an incentive to please the Lord God. Don't seek to please men. Please God, and in the long run, you're going to please men. But we need to know that God is there to help us. God is there to give us strength and courage and hope in heaven. In the 11th chapter of Hebrews, in the, in the 5th chapter, it says that, yeah, that uh, Enoch, by faith, Enoch walked with God. Enoch was one of the first creatures uh, of mankind that the Lord created. And he says, in the beginning, by faith, Enoch walked with God, and God took him, and he did not see death, for he was translated. And he had this testimony before his translation that he pleased God. I said about all it says about Enoch, but it says a great deal. It says he pleased God with his life. And God took him and he didn't ever die. And so we see the importance of pleasing God. We please God, and that's important. Over again in the book of First John, we read a good word from the Lord, and, and that states that we're to please God. We're to please Him because He is with us, always with us. And it's something that we can do to please Him and honor Him. And this is what it says, And whatsoever we ask, we receive of Him because we keep His commandments and do those things that please Him. Here the Bible says that we... We can pray and God will answer. Whatsoever we ask, eventually, in God's own way, 
and in his own time he's going to answer that prayer you're praying when you please him please God and he answers your prayers and you then endeavor to keep his commandments because the next verse says this is his commandment that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and love one another as he has commanded and the commandments are basically built on that on that uh, foundation that you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and that you love one another amen and then read the word and try to do what the God of heaven has told us we need to do we should do as Christians as those who are born again and belong to God hallelujah and it all amounts to pleasing God and that's so important uh, I read somewhere about the young lady that was sitting on the platform she was going to sing and she seemed to be real nervous and the woman sitting standing beside her sitting beside her I said uh, are you all right she said oh yes I, I'm all right but I'm gonna have to sing a solo in just a few minutes and, and I just hope it that that it's that it's pleasing to the people and the woman said to him my dear just sing to please God sing to please God amen that's the main thing that's the main thing we have that opportunity we have that oh praise God blessed privilege to please God to please God and I hope you do that and you can please God when you're born again you need to be born again you need to be be but you need to believe in Jesus as your Lord and Savior and if you haven't believed in him, believe in him right now. Believe that he loves you and he saves you from a devil's hell. And he writes your name in heaven. And you're saved. That's what the Bible teaches. Over and over again, it teaches that truth. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Pray, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Saved forever to walk in light and not darkness in, in the depths of, of hell but in the light in the glory of heaven the Bible says that if you do this just pray a brief prayer something like this and say dear God please forgive me I believe in Jesus I believe he died for me I believe he rose again I believe he's coming back come in my heart Lord Jesus Help me live for you. Amen and amen. Pray a prayer like that. And you'll know that it's your joy to please God. And he's going to please you with, with your life. He's going to please you. Praise the Lord. That's important. I am satisfied with Jesus. He has done so much for me. Oh, praise the Lord, he has suffered to redeem me. He has died to set me free. I am satisfied. Oh, I am satisfied. I am satisfied with Jesus. But the question comes to me as I think of Calvary. Is my master satisfied with me? Oh, that's important, that he be satisfied with us. And we're not always satisfied. We'll always be short at times, but keep getting up and keep going on. God loves you. You belong to the Lord. You're on the way home. God will never leave you. You're going to get through. Keep going for God. He loves you very much. Hallelujah. And I love you. Pray for me and I'm praying for you. God bless. And God keep you close to him. And may we learn to seek to please God. For there's a great deal of pleasure in pleasing God. Amen and amen.